Okay, so let's talk about our first EAS reaction. EAS stands for electrophilic aromatic substitution. All right, so our first EAS reaction, what we're going to be doing is substituting a hydrogen, right? So if we look at our benzene ring, we have six hydrogens around our benzene ring. And you are going to substitute any one of these hydrogens with a halogen. And here, because we're using Cl2, we will be substituting a hydrogen with our chlorine. Okay. So the first part of the mechanism is generating our E plus or, or our EA. So we're going to now take our X2, Cl2. That is going to react with the Lewis acid, FeCl3, right? And obviously you can use I2 or Br2 here, but we're using Cl2. So in the first part of our mechanism, a lone pair on the chlorine is going to form a new bond to the iron. The iron is a Lewis acid, has an empty orbital. So that chlorine will attack the iron molecule, forming a new bond here. The chlorine on the left still has three lone pairs. The chlorine in the middle now only has two lone pairs. That lone pair became this bond. And then our iron is still connected to three other chlorines. So the chlorine in the middle has a positive charge and the iron has a negative charge, okay? So we can think of this sort of as our EA. If you'd like, this is sort of optional, you can show that the chlorine carbon bond breaks, right? So you can eliminate that out to generate a Cl plus and then a Cl FeCl3, okay? And then that iron has a minus. So basically what we've drawn here is FeCl4 minus. And I just want you to know that is really an equilibrium with an FeCl3 and a Cl minus. Okay, so if we ever have a form FeCl4, that's an equilibrium forming the FeCl3 and a Cl minus. I'm going to be using this minus later to deprotonate our hydrogen. So here we can then think about we've now formed kind of our EA or our E plus. Okay, so that's the first part. Next, we're going to have our benzene ring, right? We'll take our benzene ring. And one of these pi bonds can now attack either our EA or our E+. Plus, okay, So we can have our double bond either attack this chlorine and break that chlorine-chlorine bond, or right, we can just have this attack the Cl+, plus, either or. All right? Don't do both, just pick one. Right? It's probably easier to just attack our EA because then we don't have to do this extra step. All right? So that benzene ring can attack our EA, right? So what that means is this bond has broken. I'm going to draw in the hydrogen that was here because that hydrogen is eventually going to disappear. We'll draw this hydrogen in, and we've now formed a new bond to, oops, sorry, we'll now form a new bond to our chlorine. Okay. The consequence of that is this carbon here has a positive charge. Okay. Now we've gone from a compound that is aromatic to something that is no longer aromatic. If you look at this carbon here in purple, that's sp3 hybridized. So we no longer have an aromatic system, but we do have a conjugated system here. So I'm highlighting our conjugated system. Okay. So this is a step that is high in energy. This carbocation intermediate is high in energy, 
but it's stabilized by resonance. So I can draw resonance structures associated with this, which is why the reaction can work. Right, so we'll still draw our H and our Cl. The double bond can be here plus there, or we can move our double bond here to draw our other resonance structure here. Right, notice this carbon in purple here can never have a double bond or a positive charge because it is sp3 because it is sp3 hybridized so that always has an h and a cl so we have three resonance structures we can draw okay and then to finish our mechanism it's quite simple i'm just going to take a lone pair we'll take our cl minus and we're going to deprotonate that hydrogen on that same sp3 hybridized carbon so this lone pair will steal that H. These two electrons will reform our double bond, reform our aromatic compound. So we deprotonate that hydrogen. Reforming our double bond here, the other two double bonds are untouched. And now we just have the chlorine we've added here. So that's the mechanism of our first reaction. Okay, if you look, we first, our Cl2 will attack our iron, forming our new bond here. The chlorine has a plus, the iron has a minus, okay? Our aromatic ring can now attack the other chlorine, breaking the chlorine-chlorine bond. That, we've now added the chlorine to this carbon, it's sp3 hybridized. We've therefore put a plus on the other carbon from the double bond here. This intermediate is no longer aromatic, but we can draw resonance structures, move this double bond here to form a new carbocation there, move the double bond here to form the carbocation there. These are the resonance structures, okay? And then what we can do is deprotonate, right? We can simply deprotonate to finish off our mechanism.